The question is, we were able to, in 1996, secure a $14.5 million grant to build the largest parkway of installation of art in the city of Chicago. From the sign that you see is on our website at the gateway at the I-55 overpass, 91 plaques on both sides of King Drive. The uh, sculpture, the Great Migration sculpture, Souls of Black Folks. That's that guy standing there with his hand up. He's saying, hold it right here. When you come under that bridge, hold it right here. Right? But he's made out of shoe soles based on the Great Migration and the intellectual discussion at the turn of the century about the souls of black folks. I can't, the book is this thick, it's on my mantelpiece. I can't be quick. That was the turn of the century. That's time I hope we're gonna do after we came out of slavery. Wow. All right? So you have to have your literary folks come down to Dunbar High School. Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School. Right. They, they just put a million dollars into the park behind it. Don't you know I got to get to these babies so we can put the roller carts out on the boulevard and have all the directors chair and have somebody talking about the black and selling some popcorn, right? Making a few dollars so they can help pay for their higher education when they get out of high school, buy some books, right? So you ain't gonna have to go out here and be a watchman for the drug boys to get some pocket money. Right? But even more than that, we can go back in that park and start doing some community festivals and really empower youth entrepreneurship. Those are the kind of things that I'm hoping to do in the next, in my next generation. I am clear that it ain't going to be the adult population. We got to get to the next generation of young people and show them where the economic wealth is going to be and how they can move out. In many cases, they're going to have to reach back and get their parents, if they're even alive, mm -hmm. especially their fathers. Okay, so I have that conversation. I'm not afraid to have that conversation. Teachers might get nervous, but I tell them at 13, don't you feel that pressure on the back of your neck? Is somebody stalking you? And unbearably, 90% of them who come out of that environment will admit that they feel like they're being stalked. Trayvon is a Trayvon Martin. That ain't no anomaly. That's the status quo. That's what they think about our 16, 15, 14 year old kids which is our most precious commodity. Let's be clear, right? So those who want to take the patronage, though, at the expense of the next generation, you're watching your babies down the corner as a direct consequence.